everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I have to say thank you today to at least two people, maybe three, actually three people, and then I have to talk to somebody. I brought my magic mirror out, and it wants to visit somebody today, so I'm going to use that today also. But my thank yous have to go to Susie, first of all, um, from Out West Homestead. Susie, you did a fabulous Shut up. The whole video was of, of me. Oh my goodness. I was like, wow, there's my name in, in letters <laughs> on your channel. And it was like, you did a really nice job. I like the way you scrolled through the things to, to talk about the person. It makes it so much easier because a lot of times when you see the um, little videos that they produced, it helps bring back memory of what you have seen because a lot of times you watch so many that after a while you don't even know what you've watched. I don't even know what I've talked about half the time so I have to go back and make sure that I've I've either not talked about that or maybe I should talk about that. The other thank you I want to give to Patty from Life with Patty. Patty gave me a shout out today too with some of the other um, channels that she has mentioned. She's been giving shout outs. She did a few the last, I think it was last week, and she did a few more today, about 13 today, and I was one of those. And then I want to say hi to Bob. He is back. He did, he did a video today, and he mentioned my name. So hi, Bob, and he's from Mountain Crest Farms. Now the magic mirror wants to visit somebody today, and so I think the magic mirror is going to tell me who it wants to see. Once it gets into the, once I get it into, I have to look at my notes sometimes because I am really bad. I don't want to mess it up. Um, but the magic mirror wants to visit somebody. So let's see who the magic mirror sees today. Uh, uh, I see somebody that wasn't feeling too well. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Sharon, is that you? Sharon Davis, I am talking to you. Yeah, hi. Are you feeling better? I hope so. You've had some really rough days there. I know your son got to stay with you for a while, and I'm sure you enjoyed that. Guess what? My son's here with me today. Yes, he is. He came to visit, and he's going to be here for about two weeks. I think it's about two weeks. But I'm hoping you're feeling better. And listen, you need to start eating really, really good. I know... Um, meat is not your favorite food, but you really need the iron that comes with it. You need to build your blood up. Remember the old advertisement of Geritol? The iron poor blood? Well, it, the food is actually a better way to go than to try to, to take Geritol. I don't know what Geritol tasted like. I don't, rem I don't know. All I remember is the advertisement of Geritol for iron poor blood. Well, Sharon, you need to eat some really good... Eat, eat eat some hamburger maybe that would be a start there's not much to chew there and it goes down pretty easy you know what I used to do because I really didn't like meat and I still not crazy about it but I can't do it anymore because I'm not supposed to eat those carbs but what I used to do is I used to bury my meat in the potatoes because I loved potatoes so I would put the piece of meat in the potato eat it and it would be swallowed down before you know it and that's how I did it. And when I had soup, I used to pick all the meat out first and eat that first while I was hungry because once I was full, I didn't want the meat either. But you have to eat really good, okay? And I'm going to check in later to see how you're doing. So, and I'm sure I can ask your son, Mike, um, from Kino, from, what's his Carnal name? Carnal. Carnal, man. Oh, man, have I forgotten. I forgot your son's channel name carnal mad you know mike you know him yeah that's his name <laughs> that's his name for me anyways okay but i can always ask him how you're doing because i'm sure he'll let me know so sharon this one's for you i wanted to see you i haven't i had thought about you and then when i heard you had an accident it really was kind of disturbing to me i want you to get better and your husband too to everybody to be better i want you to stay strong you're not that old. Now, really. You're, I'm, I'm 67. I have a brother that is 75. Yes, he's 75. 
Wow, he's 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 a lot older than me, but he's 75 years old, but he's he does really well. He, he's not on any medicines. He doesn't take anything. So eat better and maybe you can get rid of some of those meds that you're on because it's, it's heck to swallow pills. And if you're not hungry, you know what my father did when I was when I had my appendix out? I had lost my appetite after my appendix were taken out. So you know what he had me do? He had me take B1 and B2 vitamins to perk my appetite. Um, so maybe maybe that would be the way to go. Have vitamins instead of medicine. That might be a better way to go. Well, Sharon, I've got to go now. So I will talk to you, I'm sure, at another time. Take care, and I'll see you. I'm going to wave. i got to wave with, the, with my right hand. I don't wave with my left hand very well. So bye, Sharon. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm so glad I got to see Sharon in there because I didn't know who the mirror was going to show me. Sometimes it shows me other people, but today it showed me you. You're the lucky one. Well, Sharon and everyone else that is watching this, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So, bye.